Hi, this is Josh from Pinoco and I want to run you through how to self-check your designs in Illustrator before you upload them. The first thing I do is check that the scale of my design fits the template I've chosen. We're working here with a P1 design, so if I select all and click the transform text link at the top, I get a total size of all of my design elements. As I'm using a P1 template, I want to make sure that the total size of my design elements is no greater than 181 by 181 millimeters. The reason my safe area border isn't being selected here is that I've locked that layer. So we can see we're under the maximum size, so we can move on. Next, I'll work through each of the elements of my design to check that they're formatted correctly. We'll start with the cutting line. This should be blue 255 and 0 for red and green. And it should also be 0.001 millimeters. So we can see here that this cutting line is correct. To check all the other cutting lines in the design, I can use select same fill and stroke. You can see that it selected the cutting lines on the bottom as well and I can push delete because I know that these are correct. Now I know that I've just removed that from the design but this is how we're going to work through and find anything that is not correct. Next I'm going to work through each of the vector colors. So red 255 is heavy vector engraving and again 0.001 millimeters which is the correct width or weight. So again, we use Select, Same, Fill and Stroke. And you can see we've selected everything with that type of line. Again, we delete and move on to Medium Vector. So Select, Same, Fill and Stroke. And you can see that not all of the green lines have been selected. So let's delete the ones that have been and check what's happened here. So the problem with this text here, if we select it, is that it's at a weight of 0.006 millimeters. Anything greater than 0.005 will not be read by the fabricator, so we need to make sure that we change that. So let's hold off on that because we know that it's wrong. Move on to the next. Light vector engraving or purple. Same fill and stroke. That's all correct. We delete it. Light raster engraving. So raster engraving of course is using the fill, not the stroke color. And the big thing to note here is that each of the values are the same. So 230, 230, 230. It has to be a consistent gray. So we'll select same fill and stroke again. And once again, we've selected all of those elements. Medium raster, 128, 128, 128, all correct. And we've selected all of those. That's fine. Now heavy raster, here right away we can see that this is not the right black. 35, 31, 32. It looks like a straight black, but it's actually not. So we'll see how much more is that same color. And it looks like all of our black pieces are that. So we've got two elements here that are clearly not correct. The black raster engraving and the green vector engraving. So let's just delete these and we'll see if there's anything else hidden away. Having cleared pretty much everything from my design, I can now use select all to see if there's anything left and there's not. So what I'll do now is undo thereby placing everything back in the file that I've deleted and I know which pieces need to be adjusted. So we click the medium vector engraving, select same, fill and stroke and I can change this to 0.001 millimeters. Done. We also know that the black Raster engraving is incorrect, I can select that, same, fill in stroke, and we'll change that to 0, 0, 0. And this file is ready to go. Next, this is a business card holder that was one of the first things I designed with Pinoco. Now, two things are wrong here. You see that lines in the center are much darker blue than the lines around the outside. This is because I've taken each of these pieces and placed them directly side by side. What's happened as a result of that is I've got a double cutting line. Now this is when literally there is one blue line directly on top of another. The reason this is a problem is that it will be cut twice. That means you're paying for it twice and also there's greater chance for melting and scorching within your design. So the way that we select them and delete them is by using the direct selection tool. We can click on each of these pieces and delete. You see that we're leaving behind that pale blue line that you see everywhere else. That's because we're deleting one layer and leaving the other.
and that's one side we can work right around and delete all of those now the other issue here is if I run my arrow over this text you'll see it's underlined that's because it's still an editable text object I can also notice here I've used vector engraving on the outside and raster engraving on the inside of this text but we need to fix up the vector engraving there we go that's fine now the important thing with this text is we need to convert it to outlines or paths. At the moment, it's not going to be read by the fabricator. It's not going to be read by the Pinoco system and priced. So by going to type create outlines, we've changed it from being an editable text object to being a proper vector objects. And they maintain that stroke color and fill color as well. So once we've removed the rest of those double lines, this file too will be ready for cutting with Pinoco. Finally, a couple of last things to look at. Often people will take a series of designs they've created and put them on one template to be made at once. The biggest problem that can occur here, you can see right down here, having one piece that cuts into another. Yes, they will chop bits out of each other, so we want to make sure that we grab one of the offending pieces and move it out of the way and just really check that nothing is crossing over. The other thing we want to check here is this really tiny piece. The thing to remember here is that when the material is cut about 0.2 millimeters is burned away. So if we get in real close here and we measure this piece underneath the eyedropper tool is a little ruler. We'll measure from side to side and you may not be able to see that there, but the, the total width is 0.385 millimeters. Now, if each of these cutting lines has 0.2 mil cut from it, that's not going to leave much material in between. It's going to be either very fragile or burnt away entirely. What we recommend is that you try and allow at least one millimeter between cutting lines. You can get away with a bit less with thinner materials, but it's a good rule to stick by. So in this case, I'm just going to select that object and remove it entirely. Again, this file is ready to go. So that's just a quick rundown of ways that you can check over your designs quickly before you upload them to make sure you're not going to have any issues with what you receive back. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.